What more can you tell us? Again, Shefty tells us the contract is signed. What do we know? Yeah, look, Tebow is going to go out there and try and make the team as a tight end. Uh, my understanding is that he's taking it seriously, regardless of how anyone else is taking it. And, and, and he's going to try and have a little sort of second career here in the NFL at a different position. You know, Urban Meyer obviously coached him in college, so there's the connection there. And, and it's, you know, the perception around the league is that Meyer is doing a favor for his guy, giving him a shot. And uh, that there's some that think that Meyer is trying to sort of deflect attention away from Trevor Lawrence as he heads into his first training camp. I'm not sure why that would be necessary, but um, there's a lot of theories as to why this is happening. Very few people think it's going to work, but uh, Tim Tebow is certainly among those that do, and at least he's going to give it his best shot. The skepticism dripping literally from every word of that reporting from Dan Graziano pretty much tells you everything <laughs> that you, want you to need say? to know about Boy. the way most people view this. So Damian Woody, I mean, I'm looking at Mel already shaking his head, but D. Wood, I just take me inside that locker room now. You're a player on the Jaguars, and, and this guy, and Tim Tebow, comes running out onto the field with all of the history that is involved here. What thoughts going through your mind, D. Wood? I don't get hey, players like, I don't give a damn, basically. Like, if you're not a good player, Players are not going to follow you. See, that's what's missing in this whole equation. You're talking about a guy who's, what, 33 years old, who's, who's playing a totally different position, and there's some people out there that think that, oh, these, all these guys are going to gravitate and follow him. That's not how it works in professional sports. It doesn't work that way. Like, you got to be a really good player, first and foremost, in order for guys to even attempt to follow, follow you as a player. So this is, this is a Herculean challenge for – a guy like Tim Tebow, this at this point in his athletic career to go change positions and all of a sudden try to help change the coach in Jacksonville, call me a skeptic. All right, so that's two votes for a skeptic. Mel Kuyper, what do you think? <laughs> I saw Tim Tebow catching balls prior to a game really early on, Greeny. I said before he became an NFL player, this is back in Florida, he should be an H-back. And I remember Tim came on the radio with me and said, Mel, I'm a quarterback. You, if you like me touching the ball, why not if I touch the ball in every play? I said, no, as an H-back, not a quarterback. So he says he's serious now. I wish Tim would have been serious at age 22, not at age 34, which you will be when this season begins. The Jacksonville Jaguars and Urban Meyer don't need any stunts. They don't need any gadget plays. They don't need anything to bring attention to their team. They don't need anything to get the attention of the fans, to get fans to come out and watch the Jaguars. That's why you have Trevor Lawrence. That's why you took the job. You have a team that had a good draft, a team that had has some talent, has a great young quarterback. Why would you want to bring that traveling circus to your town with all eyes and all the talk about Tim Tebow, who at age 34 can't be a major asset to a football team? Like I said, I wish you would have taken it seriously then with the Jets he looked like, a fish out of water playing that position. And now all of a sudden at age 34 coming up, he's going to be able to come into the NFL and be an H-back. Good luck. Yes, th those are the different pieces of this, D. Wood. I mean, th there's the football piece of it, which is I don't think that I've not heard from anyone who believes he has a real chance to be an impactful player at the position. There's the leadership piece of it. If, if Urban Meyer is trying to create a culture and thinks Tim Tebow is someone who can help him create the culture that he wants, can he do that? No, he can't do that, Greeny. Like, the biggest, the biggest thing, if you're going to be a guy who's going to be a leader, you got to be a good player. That's the whole thing. You can't be a guy who's a second, third team guy or a guy who's on, who's on the bubble as far as the roster is concerned. If you, first and foremost, you got to be one of the best players on the team. You got to be a guy that excels either off, on offense, defense, or on special teams. That's it. You can't be a bubble guy and then be all of a sudden this cultural leader that's going to galvan. Galvin, you know, that's going to bring everybody together. It just doesn't work that way. You have to be good somewhere on that team. And that's why I, that's why I said I'm a skeptic as far as this whole circus with Tim Tebow. And so, Dan Graziano, what happens now? He, he, he goes to the, um, the, the off-season program. What happens? Well, again, he's going to try, he's going to try and learn the tight end position on the fly in an NFL you know, OTA, mini camp, training camp situation. And there'll come a time in early September where the Jaguars have to cut their roster down. And I would think the expectation would be that he would be among those cuts. But uh, again, Greeny, I mean, you know, he thinks he can do it.
leadership, you know, guys following him. Best case scenario, he's the third string tight end. I don't recall a lot of teams in NFL history where the third string tight end was the leader, was the culture setter. It's got to be Trevor Lawrence's team going forward. But, you know, Tebow, like I said, he's going to give it a shot. I guess it would be a pretty big upset if he pulled it off. Well, if a picture is worth a thousand words, then Damian Woody just wrote a book. Uh, Mel, give us a very quick final thought. It's got to be the GM saying no, Urban. And that's, again, where Urban's kind of doing the thing down there. He said, okay, let's collect my Florida days. This is a great leader, great energy. It's going to be. The GM's got to say no. Bill Polling or somebody strong, a veteran GM, a Hall of Fame GM's there. He's not coming to your football team. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.